second round TKO. Plan C, then in the decision, either way, I was, I was gonna get the win. You know, losing was not an option. I didn't come here to fight, I came here to win. Go back to the moment you got the call, man. What was going on? How did it happen for you to, to get this this invitation to the UFC? Man, it was a blessing. It was a blessing, man. And the timing was perfect. I, you know, God's timing. I was actually changing the headlight on the car. And uh, I got the call. My manager called me. He said, can you make the wait? It's two weeks. I said, yeah. You know, I didn't even care who I was about to fight. I was just ready. You know, when you stay ready, you don't got to get ready. So. I, what did the opportunity mean to you? I mean, you said it was like perfect timing. I mean, were, were like some bills due or so? I mean, what was going uh, on? I mean, you know, it was, it, was just, it was just perfect timing because, you know, like I'm hungry, you know. Started the year 2020, you know, ain't a better way to start the year. My favorite fighter, John Jones, he was on his undercard, so I mean, that's why it was perfect timing. The trip you had, the fact that he came up on you, like he didn't really expect, respect your power, you think he didn't know about you to do a scouting report? Excuse me? <laughs> you think he didn't know? He respects your power because he came up on you like he didn't do oh, a yeah, scouting yeah, report. I, I, I don't think he knew. I don't think he knew. You know, all respect to my opponent. You know, anybody that get in there in the cage, you know, it's not easy. It's simple, but it's not easy. But I don't, th I don't think he did his research. With this, with this short notice fight, you didn't really have time to really think about like this long nine week camp. It was just two weeks or in. Did you? Was it beneficial at all if you didn't have this one man on your mind for so long? You just got a cut way to show up and fight. I mean, like I said, when you stay ready, you gotta get ready. I, I continue to stay in the gym. I continue to get better. Every day is a potential day for progress. And you know, this is a dream come true, you know? Walk us through that combo after you hit him with the left hand, you got him on the cage, you threw that two piece and come with that beautiful uppercut. I, yeah, I just, I just, you know, you can't put on a predator, man. I, I smell blood and I had to go get him. It's crazy, man. You haven't even been fighting professionally for like, not even three years yet, right? I mean, you come in and do something like that. I mean, where do you feel like you stand, like where can you go for it? Do you still need time to grow or do you feel like I mean, you can start making moves? I mean, of course, man. Like I said, every day is a potential day for progress, you know, and uh, that's why I'm going to continue to grow. And uh, one day, you know, I will want to fight for that title. Can you can you explain Chaos the Ox Fighter to me? What, what, what? See, Chaos, I got that name when I was 13, you know, growing up and then, you know, in the rough neighborhoods. I was getting in a lot of trouble when people was always like calling a lot of chaos, a lot of ruckus. And my name is Kaylin, actually, with a K, so. People call me chaos, and I just put the K on top of it. And like I said, I used to always wrestle, slap box, box, and stuff. And everybody that was older than me, they was like, man, you strong like an ox. And I've been fighting my whole life, so I just put it together. It's something that just came to me, and the ox fighter got a ring to it. Chaos and ox fighter Williams, here I am. She used to it. What's some levels to your game that we had? Did we get to see since you got up out of there so quick? Uh, man, like I said, I'm gonna just keep getting better. Just keep getting better, and I'm gonna, you know, just keep uh, improving. You know, every every I'm a, I'm a well-rounded fighter. So wherever the fight go, hey, you know, I can't tell all my tricks. <laughs> <laughs> if you happen to be cashing an extra fifty thousand dollar check tonight, where, where will that money go to? Oh man, I'm gonna deposit it. You know, I gotta pay the IRS, gotta pay their taxes. You know, <laughs> and, uh, you know, I'm in the real estate field, so I, you know, buy a couple more homes. That is a much more responsible <laughs> answer than many people give. <laughs> <laughs> where, where, where you live at? Uh, I'm in Detroit. Detroit. Yeah. So, so that that that, that, that three one three mentality was that on display today? Cause oh, most definitely, man. You know, most definitely. You've been a busy fighter. Fought, I think, five times last year. Like three times just in the last three or four months of the year. It's very possible the UFC won't be able to keep you that busy. What are you going to do with all the extra time? Just keep getting better. You know, just keep getting better. Staying in the gym. You know, like I said, I'm in the real estate field as well. So when I'm not in the gym, I'll be renovating properties. You know, doing my studying. You know, just getting my mind right my scriptures, stuff like that. So is fighting full time for you? Or do you have other things like this? It's, it's, it's real estate, fighting, that's my life. You know, that's what I love to do, that's my passion. Real estate, my calling, this is something that I'm passionate about as far as fighting. You know, I only live once, and you know, I'm just getting better. Keep building my legacy and my team is great. What would it take for you to commit full time to MMA, like just focus and training? Um, Some more bonuses? Maybe, maybe. <laughs> cool. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Appreciate it.